Hey everyone, Audra here from Garden Days. We decided to come into Flagstaff because I wanted to stop by Home Depot and I lucked out. The 50% sale was going on at the other one where they had canceled it at the one I usually go to. Score, the sale is back. Up to 50% off select trees. Awesome. It's mainly fruit trees. After my tree shopping, we decided to come and get some lunch. Came to our favorite sandwich spot. Y'all are ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Kellogg. Moo Moo, you're such a good girl, honey. And I got the, what is this? This is the roast beef and cheese. And Jeff got the Texan, which is a dipping sandwich. That's really good, actually. I usually don't like dipping sandwiches. Their sandwiches are so good here. It has a sliced cucumber, lettuce, roast beef, and cheddar with a horse radish sauce. All right, we're gonna eat our lunch and then I'll show you what trees that I ended up getting. Mmm, they had buy one, get one free cookie. I got the large chocolate chip and then Jeff got the lemon. I got six trees. They're all fruiting trees. The first one over here was a Fuji. It was $25. Uh, the Dorset was $25. And which one is this one? A Nectarine, right? Yeah, the Desert Delight Nectarine. That was $25. And then, oh, what is this one under here? Oh, that was a pear, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it was the, sorry, it's hard to see. Hood European pear. Like I said, I got six in total. Those were four. The two larger trees are the weeping cherry, which I'm really excited about that one. I've always wanted a weeping cherry. And then the other one is a handle with care. <laughs> I forget, um, crap, what is it? Cherry, I think it was a crab apple. Yep, spring snow crab apple, awesome. I already have a crab apple, but it's a darker leafed crab apple, so I'm glad to have a green one. Made it back to the property, and during our visit to Flagstaff, I was able to pick up a whole load of mulch to help finish the pathways in the vegetable garden. My friends Jeff and Jimmy are going to help me get this spread into the pathways of my vegetable garden. We already did one truckload, so this is the second truckload. I believe I'll need one more truckload to finish the vegetable garden off for this season. The rain has gone away and it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day in the garden with some beautiful flowers. So we were able to finish over half of the garden here. We just need to do this little path back there where the blueberries are. And then this here, that's already done. And then these paths back here. So one more load should do it. And if I have enough time, I'll get more loads to go in between the garden beds here and these smaller pathways that are fenced off. So when I got back this season, there were a lot of weeds, but this is definitely helping with that. Yes, I find the thicker the mulch is, the better job it does suppressing the weeds. There were so many weeds in this path here. I think this had the most, but not anymore. Let's hope it stays that way. Here are my new fruit trees that I showed you earlier and I fastened them to the clothesline because I have a problem with wind here and always wants to blow them over. This seems to work. And that's what I need to do today is get those planted out. Earlier this season, I transplanted this cherry tree, but I do not think it made it. Now, I would say that was a definite no. Yeah, unfortunate. So I'm going to take the weeping cherry and replace it. I think this will be awesome here. And it should get plenty of water during monsoon since it's right by this water source. Plus it's on drip, so 
All right, let's get to planting. Okay, well, it must be five o'clock because my drip system just came on. I didn't get to plant all six trees. I planted four out of the six. I do have the spots chosen for the last two and I'll show you that towards the end. But let me go ahead and show you what I've already planted. So right by the plum and lilac, I mentioned this tree earlier. It's the weeping cherry. And I wanted something that wouldn't get too big. It gets about 20 feet, but it doesn't spread and I didn't want anything to come this way because I do have solar on my roof and I don't want it to mess with that. Plus I eventually want to build a structure here with a kind of porch. So I don't want anything to mess with that as well. And this one stays narrow, which is awesome. So it should fill out this space nicely and it'll have white blooms in the spring. I think it'll look just lovely right here at this spot. On the other side of my driveway is the first crab tree that I planted. And like I said, it has the darker bark and also leaves. And on the other side here, I decided to plant this crab apple. I think it'll look good and complement the other one. Yes, as you can see, the drip system is working properly, but I still need to tee in and do this line. But I'll do that in the next day or two. And I need to run a second line for this one as well. I planted the Dorset Golden Apple right by the archway. I thought that would fill in this space and look nice. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fruit trees in this spot. To mention behind me, there's one, two, three, four, five. And this is where I planted the other apple. This one's the Gala, or no, sorry, Fuji. So I'm hoping once this fills out, it'll kind of grow over and arch this way. I might eventually put an archway in here. I haven't decided yet. Definitely a lot of fruit trees. I'm gonna count them all and see how many, just in this front section, not including the veggie garden. Go ahead and start here. So there's one, that's the pear combo. And that one was transplanted this season. That's why it's struggling a bit. Cherry, that's two. Plum, that's three. Although that is more of an ornamental plum. And then the crab apple is ornamental as well. I guess you can use the fruit. So that's four, five. Got the three stone fruit combo there. That's six. Nectarine is seven. Almond is eight. Apple is nine. The peach two and one is 10. Then the other apple is 11. Then the plum is 12. The other plum is 12. And then the Granny Smith is 13. 
I forgot this section here. I've got two jujubes. That's 14, 15. And then the nectarine there. I might have to replace it. It doesn't look very good. Although I've checked the bark and it's still alive. So maybe it's just went through transplant shock and it'll have a new flush of leaves next year. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so we were on 16 just in the front area. And let's see, the two I haven't planted, one is a nectarine and the other one is a pear. Let me show you where those are gonna go. But first, let's count the trees in here. We have an almond there. So that's 18, apple is 19, other apple is 20. I believe these are galas. This is where I want to plant the other two trees by the fence line here. And then we have this peach, I believe it is. Yep, it's the Babic white peach. So that's 21. And I'm not even including the fig trees. I have one, two, three, four, four fig trees, but they're so small. I haven't counted them yet. They are the Chicago hardy. This is one of my Chicago hardy figs. It's pretty small and it does die back every winter, but it comes back from the root. And it's obviously not counting the ones that we've lost. We've, I believe, lost about four or five fruit trees, unfortunately. And those ones were not on drip. I think that makes a big difference. Well, that is it for my fruit trees so far. Well, that's pretty good in my opinion, 24 fruit trees. And I've been here for four years. I bought the property in 2020, but the first two years were building infrastructure, um, like the water lines and just getting everything in, the shipping container and the laundry room and stuff like that. I didn't really start gardening until um, 2023. I did plant a fruit tree and it was the apple in the veggie garden. And that one's about three years old, going on four, I think, because that one was planted, I believe, the first or second year. I didn't plant until last year. I really got into gardening, and then this year as well. But I haven't been here that long this season. So I'm glad for what's growing. And, you know, gardening can be a never-ending process. Oh, I did find a spot for my Buddha there. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. Just need to get more plants around it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. And also you can subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now. Mwah. Happy gardening.